First time Deja, seen a real Michelle nigga make it. Sitting at the top, I'm bored, no neighbor. Fuck a cousin, cop a roller, yes, I roll it. Then I pull up on that little nigga, but bless that nigga, know that he. What? Your heart that I won't hey, y'all. So, today's video, we are going to talk about my new tattoo that I got for my birthday. And we're going to try on some new lashes. They're 25 ml. What does MM mean? 25 millimeter? I don't know. The long lashes. We're gonna try on these. You know, pretty scary. Way out of my comfort zone. So let's get right to so, it. So, right now, we're gonna take the lashes out the pack. This is how they look. If you have me on my other social media, like my Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, you can tell I already tried on these lashes. And these lashes look pretty cute. I'm gonna show a clip of them. Well, actually, I ordered these lashes from Amazon, and this is basically going to be my review as well. And so, back to the tattoo that I got for my birthday. It was pretty interesting. Like, the pain that everybody describes a tattoo is so different from what you actually feel. Like, I went into the tattoo session thinking, it's going to hurt, I'm going to be crying, I'm in pain, when really it felt like, Think of this tweezer, okay? You see this tweezer? Just think about it just scratching against your skin, vibrating constantly. Like, it's not even pain. And like, this is my first tattoo, and obviously it's a lot of detail. We got shading, we got red, we got scales. And so for this to be my first tattoo, I can really rate the pain of it about like a five. It's still healing right now. Right now, it's uh, right now it's at its peeling stage, of course. So here we go. Right now, we are going to apply glue onto this lash. Please don't mind my face. I'm focused right now because this can either go really good or really bad, and. I spent like $12 on these lashes, so they better look right on me or I want my refund. Cause baby, who got $12 to spend on lashes? Not me. Okay. Then the first lash on. Okay. Never mind. I have to do this off. I'm at. I'm about to do this off camera. This is going bad already. <laughs> I do not like this. All right, hopefully, when I put the second lash on, it looks better. <laughs> hold on, hold on, sis. You probably just did something, hold on. Hold on. Oh, wow. So, I see why girls love 25 millimeter lashes because wow this is I feel like I can fly away with these like if somebody piss me off just fly away ooh I like this so back to the tattoo I actually threw up when I got it because before you're supposed to get your tattoo you're supposed to eat and me thinking you're supposed to eat before your tattoo session I ate a bag of hot fries and in the beginning of the tattoo I was doing great it was you know awesome but then I felt very hot and very nauseous. And like the tattoo artist, she was asking me like, are you okay? Do you need to use the restroom? Like, are you okay? And me being me, I'm just like, you know what? I'm good. Just keep going. I'm good. But then I was like, nah, I'm not good. And so I went to the restroom. And I used the restroom, put water on my face. I was good to go. But halfway out the restroom, I started throwing up all the hot fries. And so... 
for those who's thinking about getting a tattoo, I really highly suggest if you eat before your tattoo, do it like hours before because I did it like 15 minutes before it was my time and I threw up so I ended up giving her like a $20 tip because super embarrassed and honestly but I can tell you the red part of my tattoo the red ink it don't really hurt how people say it it just feel like constant pressure constantly going over your arm and so you feel it more and the needle is actually bigger for the red ink but it's not like oh my gosh I'm gonna die it's like dang like <laughs> that needle is kind of it's a tad bit big and also what I also noticed about tattoos and getting it done you just have to be what's the word like you have to be able to talk to your tattoo artist like you need to tell them if you're in pain if you don't feel good if you're sick luckily my tattoo artist she caught on like she got the vibe like I wasn't okay because at first I was happy I was just chilling but then like after 30 minutes in I looked like I was sick so that was really 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 helpful and also your tattoo artist should always open up a new pack of needles and sanitize it before you know doing what they're doing applying ink to your skin because it is permanent and what else what else what else also if it's your first time getting a tattoo i highly recommend your outer arm because you don't really feel any pain either anywhere on your arm shouldn't hurt the only thing i can say like right here it did hurt a little more but i mean it wasn't like unbearable it was like okay i feel pressure right there i feel a little bit more compared to everything else and then also the healing process really is not that bad and not that intense how people make it seem okay so boom my phone is dying and so right now y'all are propped up on its side charging and so for the aftercare of the tattoo that i used i used aqua 4 and I use African I use African shea butter 100% natural and these two are my babies I love it I use this in the beginning of the healing process it actually sped things up sped with speed I don't know which word but it actually helped a lot it had got it healing faster and when I got to the peeling portion like like what I'm in right now, the peeling process, I started using this for it. And it's more of a, it's really like a, it's not hard, but it's like more of a clay type of substance. Like I'm about to show y'all. Like you gotta really scoop it, you know? But it's so like, it works so good to the point where you don't even need to use a lot. Like a little bit can really take you far. I just highly recommend like try to cover your whole tattoo like make sure you get to really rub it in onto your tattoo and it moisturizes your skin for a long long time like when i use this i only use it twice a day so i do it in morning time and when i go to bed but if i go to work i use this when i wake up before i go to work and before i go to bed but when i first got my tattoo i use this like three times a day when i woke up go to work go to bed but whenever it's itching whenever it's itching i either blow on it find something to keep me distracted from the itch or i'll just use this and i really recommend this for when your tattoo is itchy and that is about it that all i can say about my first tattoo experience i am getting one more in my inner arm it's gonna be tat it or whatever but these are the lashes 25 oh my gosh i'm in love it's, it's it's amazing i am officially a big girl now i'm with the 25 millimeter eyelashes mink because this is amazing it's just i just can't go back to my i just can't go back lashes if y'all like these lashes, I will put the link in the description box. It's just amazing. 
so i hope y'all enjoyed this video it was a quick video it was just a quick little review on some lashes that i've been scared but dying to wear for the longest and i want to do a tattoo review the one i got on my birthday it is a snake with a lotus flower it is beautiful i love it shout out to the person who did it you did amazing i get a lot of compliments on it people be like whoa who did it and i'm like this lady did it like period but i hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe share view anything and everything counts bye y'all she try make the extras i told on these bitches hey when it's about time to pay i'm a